This is part three of my collection tour. So if you haven't checked out the first two parts, go check them out first. And then we're gonna get into the last main section of this collection tour. It's morphin' time. Hello, this is Santa here, and welcome to part three of my collection tour, which is this display, the Power Rangers slash Super Sentai display. By far the best looking shelves that I think I've got, and by far the ones I'm most proud of. So let's take a deep dive. So I figured we should do this Sentai-wise chronologically, even though this shelf is between a couple other shelves. I just thought it'd make more sense to do it this way. So over here we got some uh, mini figures of the Go Rangers, looking nice, looking cool. Uh, and then over here we've got the Ranger keys for Go Ranger, two Jack. Oh, nope, big one fell over. Let's save big one. There we go. Uh, that happens. They're Ranger keys. I have them tacked down, but that doesn't mean that they stay. Anyways, uh, so there's there's Jacka. We got Battle Fever, Denji Man, Sun Vulcan. I don't by any means have complete teams. And then here is a Change Mermaid falling over. All right. So anyways, um, they fall over sometimes. But that is kind of like the pre Jew Ranger Ranger keys. And this shelf in general is pretty much for like runoff stuff or characters that don't have Deluxe Mecha in my collection. So for example, I have the two changers from Five Man in their boxes. Uh, these stones are the Die Ranger like summoning jewels uh, that came with the Super Sentai Artisan Dyrano. They just didn't fit up above, so that's where they ended up here. We've got the uh, Akiba Rangers. We got Red and Super Red with his key. We got the two keys with blue and the two keys with yellow. There's some Sentai, some old Sentai vinyls back there. Some like Megazord figures, Astro Galaxy, Ninja Storm, uh, 2017 movie, and then over here is like. The Super Mini Plot, we got, I got a Super Mini Plot, uh, Dai Shogun, not Dai Shogun, Muteki Shogun, Muteki Shogun there, and then the Gal Ranger ones are in the back, I did get the main Gal Ranger, uh, Super Sentai, Super, Super Mini Plot, gosh, my brain, I've been filming too long, uh, anyways, more figure arts, uh, we got, you know, Vol Eagle, Black Condor, and Red Falcon, uh, with Jet, Jet Icarus there, we got uh, Bio Robo and Balzion. You know, the only time they made a villain mecha so far. And my little tribute to Live Man, my favorite Sentai of all time. Of course, the Super Shoto set, which I did review. Uh, we've got a little girls in uniform figure of Megumi and a girls in uniform figure of Colin. And then, of course, the Super Mini Pla Super Live Robo. So that's kind of like my little Live Man shelf. But that's just kind of like my little, uh, yeah, it's, it's the Sentai stuff that doesn't need their own shelves each, but kind of fit in between. So, of course, the top of the shelf, the main displays, is uh, the Zhu Ranger through Kaku Ranger section or the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers section. So, of course, we got Ranger Keys. Uh, this is what I do my Ranger Keys. I decided even though I don't have all the Japanese ones, I'm going to have all of them displayed regardless of their complete teams. But of course, we got the American keys here, the shorter ones, and the Japanese ones there. Uh, of course, we've got a Legacy Power Morph. This is a V2. It's all shiny, has the proper sounds. So then with the Lightning Collection, I put all of the Mighty Morphin Rangers together. So of course, we've got the three forms of Rocky. We've got the, uh, the forms of Zack and Adam. We've got the three forms of Billy, the three forms of Trini and Aisha, the three are the uh, three forms of Kimberly, and then the, or the, let's see, we got Kim. Kim, Alternate Universe Ranger Slayer Kim, Metallic Kim, and then Cat. So it's kind of like all the Pink Rangers. And then over here we've got, of course, the forms of Tommy. So green, white, ninja, metallic. And then behind that is, of course, Tommy's Master Morpher. So there you got that there. And then the Legacy Gold Ranger Morpher up above. And then down here, these were uh, the Jada Toys Nano Metals Power Rangers set. So we have all of the main Mighty Morphin Rangers plus Draken. And then over here, we've got the villains. Uh, they're here just to kind of fill some space in a way, but they're all there. The other thing about the uh, the morphers here, so I got the legacy morphers, but the power coins are in that little canister, like the little, uh, little thing in the master morpher uh, underneath it. There's a little hole, and I put all the extra coins in there. But you can see like Tommy's coins are on the stand. And then of course, we got to pivot up because here is our Megazords. Oh. There's uh, Alpha and Zordon from Lightning Collection. 
course, there's the Deluxe Ultra Zord, my preferred version, ultimately. Even though the stickers are worn and everything, I just, I like the scale of this better than the Legacy, and it's a lot more stable, too. I, the Legacy looks nice, but it, it's just a mess. Um, of course, you got Serpentera, who is king of the, the stack here. You can see, you can see Metroplex in the background. You can also see my Turtle Blimp. There's my Turtle Blimp. Anyways, um, we've got, of course, the Super Sentai Artisan Dyrino, which I did pick up. I love that thing. It's instead of having stickers, it's got molded and painted detail. It's beautiful. And then in a, a twist, I put in the Legacy Tiger Zord instead of the deluxe one. Oh, I did forget to mention Rear Ranger back there. Um, the lone Die Ranger uh, figure here. Anyways, I did put the Legacy Tiger Zord out because I just like the way it looks better. I never got the Artisan uh, Wand Tiger. And then inside of Tor, I have the deluxe Tiger Zord. So that way it's still around if I need it, but it's it's not on display. It's just it's stored up in there. And then, of course, for the third section, the Alien Rangers slash Kaku Rangers, there's the Ranger Keys. Um, I got the American ones. There's our Alien Ranger 5 pack for Lightning Collection, or as I call them, my beautiful Kaku Ranger figures. I own two of the Battleborgs, just white and blue. Uh, one day I want to get all five. And then that is the Artisan Doran Changer. Uh, and then, of course, we've got the Retro Collection Ninjor uh, there. And then up top, we've got... You know, uh, we've got the Ninja Megazord, the Shogun Mega Falcon Zord, and then the Ninjor himself. I did a YouTube short about all the Ninjors I own. So there's the Nano Metals uh, Ninjor and the one in the bottle uh, just hanging out between uh, the Shogun and Ninjor. Also Mighty Morphin related, here is the Dragon Dagger, the Legacy one, on the side of the shelf, uh, just in between the shelves themselves. Love the way that one looks. And then over here we've got Saba. Uh, also the Legacy Edition. I loved the Legacy weapon line. They were really, really nice. So one shelf down, we've got Zeo through In Space or O-Ranger through Mega Ranger. So let's start with Zeo O-Ranger. So I got the keys. I have them spaced out because of the way I have the Rangers spaced out. But I, again, don't have a complete team there. That is an O-Ranger power brace, though. That's not the, uh, the American one. This is the Legacy uh, Zeo Gold Power Staff, which just is amazing. And I again, I have it strapped to the shelf so it can be out on a display nice and easy. It's huge. Uh, here's the Lightning Collection. You know, there's the team. Uh, I got them kind of mirrored poses with like they're pulling out their weapons. I did swap hands on the Zeo Gold from some other figures. But we got the Warrior Wheel. We got Arc the Conqueror, the Super Zeo Megazord. Yes, it's missing its helmet. I know I have the helmet somewhere. I will find it one day. Uh, here we have the, um, whatever this was called, the, the combination of, um, you know, uh, O-Ranger Robo and, and O-Puncher or Red Puncher. Gosh, my brain is not able to keep up with names. That thing. Uh, that's the Nano Metals uh, Zeo Green, because for some reason they did that, and they did Zeo Gold, but they didn't do uh, anybody else. But Zeo Gold, of course, on my King Pyramiter. That is not a Pyramidus. If you can see the uh, sand texture of the plastic instead of the yellow, that is the Japanese one. I got a heck of a good deal on that like several years ago. Uh, so then moving over here, uh, we got Turbo. Uh, this is my Lost Galaxy release of the Turbo Morpher because it's still the only Turbo Morpher release I have. Um, but then up here, you know, Keys once again. This time I just have Red. Uh, Lightning collection wise, we got Red, we got Blue Centurion, and we've got Phantom because all they made, sadly. Uh, we've got the Turbo Megazord looking nice. We've got the Rescue Megazord. Looking good. Uh, the Robo Racer is actually a Cyrender. That's the Japanese release. And an Artillotron, plus a little nano metal figure of the Phantom Ranger. So that's all that's all there for uh, Turbo slash Car Ranger. So for Mega Ranger slash in space, uh, here's the Ranger keys, the American ones. Here are the six Space Rangers, the Mega Winger, the Mega Voyager with the wing pack. Coming around here, we got the Astro Delta Megazord. I did put the uh, Psycho Red figure here for that time that he had captured Megazords. I thought that'd be fun. So then uh, here's the Silver Ranger figure that came with the Mega Winger. And then here is the Japanese keys for Mega Red and Mega Silver. Just because I didn't really have room on the front end here. So I just was like, let's just put them on the side. So now we have the Lost Galaxy through Time Force or the Ginga Man through Time Ranger. So Lost Galaxy being my favorite Power Ranger season means, of course, I only got two of the Japanese keys. I just have... Ginga Red and Black Knight, uh, but I do have all the American ones, and I do have the Morphers here. So we've got the Trans Morpher, the Magna Defender Morpher, and then uh, then we've got the Lightning Collection, which 
Yeah, if you guys didn't see my Power Rangers rundown, I did get a second Lost Galaxy Blue just to get Maya a Quasar Saber, because they didn't do that right, but whatever, it's done. Um, so there's the six of them. That is a Ginga Man Bull Taurus, you can see by the gold uh, chains as opposed to the ropes. There's my first two Megazords I ever had, the Stratoforce and Centaurus Megazords. That's why Centaurus is missing his head and weapons. For some reason, I'd be able to piece the Stratoforce back together, but I can't find all the pieces for the Centaurus. It, things got jumbled in a move. Uh, back here, we've got the... It's the American uh, Galaxy Megazord, but it's the Lights of Ginga armor that was Japan exclusive. And then that is the Zenith Megazord back there. So, uh, pretty cool. I mean, look at that. Looks really, uh, really awesome. I, lo I love my... I love my Lost Galaxy stuff. So, there we go. Uh, Lightspeed Rescue, a uh, huge nostalgia point for me because I was I was prime Power Rangers fan when this came out. I was like five. So, we got the uh, six American keys. The Of course, just go red. Uh, a lot of the Japanese keys were so hard to get. Uh, we've got the GoGo -Go Brace. This is actually the uh, Japanese one with the LCD uh, game screen and all that, um, which is pretty cool. This is the American uh, Battle Booster which is awesome. That's a little badge that came with this, which is the Rescue Blaster, uh, I think is the name of it. It's the sidearm piece. Um, it's falling over at the moment, but yeah, have that there. And then we've got some of my... Oh, I love these swords so much. Oh, right. Uh, Lightning Collection, uh, Lightspeed Blue, and then the Titanium Morpher. Because the Titanium Morpher's I got a broken strap harness. That's why it's not hanging like the others, because it doesn't hold. Uh, but anyways, we got the, the Max Solar Zord and Lightspeed, Lightspeed Solar Zord. So that combination there, I've had that since I was a child. Uh, my Christmas gift the year it came out, the Omega Megazord, one of my favorites. Of course, the Super Train. How could I forget? It's it's one of the most beautiful mecha that Sentai's ever produced. And then back here was the last Megazord I needed to complete, like my main Zords, which was the Life Force Megazord, which I had to get off of the Japanese release. It was the Max Victory Robo Sigma project, I think, but it was the uh, black and gold version. One of the only times Black and Gold was canon. In Japan, it was only in one episode, but for Power Rangers, it was in three. So that's why I consider it like a main Megazord. But there is that section. And then Time Force as well, another nostalgia point for me, because I was, again, this was like my peak era for Power Rangers as a kid. Um, so here we have the keys. I actually have Time Blue, because he was actually Gashapon. Kind of want to finish the Time Ranger keys, because I'm already halfway there. But anyways, we'll see. Uh, we've got the uh, Chrono Morpher. We've got the... Uh, Q-Rex Megazord controller that works as the morpher. This is the Japanese jet, uh, because I don't know if you can see it. Yep, there you go. This is an American Time Force Megazord, but I do have the Japanese minifigures from the Time Jet in there. I have it in mode red. Here's my Time Shadow. My original shattered recently. I was so sad. The leg just exploded on it, and it was shattered into pieces. I bought another one off eBay that unfortunately had some rusted screws, so I had to do a lot of repair work, but I cobbled together... Uh, a time shadow. So I've got time shadow back together. Here is the provider base robot, uh, which is the from the provider base. Uh, it's the Transwarp Megazord, never released in America, so it's the Japanese release, but he has the American canon, because I just had the American one of that. And then here is the Q-Rex Megazord. I'd love to have a V-Rex uh, Megazord just for the little minifigure of uh, Time Fire that we didn't get on the American release. But there is that. I think I got, I got surprises on the side. We got the little time ship from the provider base as well as the Lightning Collection Time Force Blue Motorcycle. Um, oh, you can also see the uh, the badge. The Time Force badge is there as well. So there we go. Oh, and I, I glossed over them. Time Force Red and Blue Lightning Collection. Anyways, Time Ranger. Nearly forgot my Chrono Blasters holstered on the side. Bottom shelf is just Wild Force Gal Ranger and Ninja Storm Hurricaner because they're huge. They're huge sets of things. So starting off, one of the few sets I have, both the American and Japanese keys, because so they did a deluxe set for the Japanese keys, which I wish would include a Gauss Silver, because boy, those sticker chests don't... I don't like the way they look. Anyways, uh, so we've got the uh, Lightning Collection. Of course, we got Silver, and we got Blue. Uh, we've got the Morphers. These are the American ones of the Growl Phone and the Lunar uh, Morpher. And then we got the Battleizer buckle there. Uh, this is the Soul Bird, the Japanese release that came with the minifigures. I love minifigures with mecha, okay? I think you can kind of tell that by this point. This is the Jumbo uh, Gal Lion with the Korean Gal Falcon, the Japanese Gal Elephant, and the American uh, Shark and Tiger, so you can know how hodgepodge my collection is at times. Uh, with the Predazord and the Kongazord, those are both American releases. 
Um, those arms there, the deer and the giraffe are, and the, uh, the legs being the rhino, uh, those are the Korean ones that came with the Korean, uh, set there. And then we've got the, uh, Animus Megazord, which was the American release. And then Gao Kong here was the Japanese one. So there you go. That's that. And, uh, American Crystal Saber, because that's a little bit larger and a little bit more impressive. And then over here, Ninja Storm, um, which was one of my favorite seasons. And then also, I, I like Hurricane Drew too. So, starting off, Keys got all of them, because I actually did do deluxe versions of all the Hurricanes, which was nice. Uh, we got the Figure Arts, because we didn't get any Lightning Collection. I figured it was this or Legacy, and I figured this had more. Uh, then we have the Morphers down here. Uh, so, we got the four Morphers. And then we've got, of course, Samurai Star. We got Ninja Khan. And there is a Lightning Mode um, Storm Megazord back there, in its, in its kind of crazy spinny wheel. Then, of course, we have the Thunderstorm Megazord and then the Japanese Revolver Mammoth. I don't have his uh, trunk and his uh, tusks installed because it sticks out to like here and that's kind of a tripping hazard. So, if, you know, I just kind of keep it collapsed. And then we've got like all the little weapons just hanging out on the thing that launches them, which is kind of fun and cool. And then all of the balls down here, I have all of them except for the scarf. So, you know, it's all accounted for even the stamp. Uh, there was a couple versions of the stamp. I picked this one because even though it was red in the series. This one has the accurate roller stamp as opposed to the pressure stamp. And then you might notice underneath is the actual provider base pieces um, because I don't have room to display the provider base from Time Ranger, just the robot. So I kept all the uh, base pieces under the shelf and that little like inch and a half gap that I got down there. So pretty cool. I'm going to put this back to, can I do this on camera? Can I put it, can I fit it? Will it fit? There we go. Click, done. All right, so there you go. There's all that and uh, the Thunder Staff as well. So that is the bottom of the shelf. It's time to go to the top of the next one. So here is uh, Opera Ranger Dino Thunder through Maji Ranger Mystic Force. And of course, we've got, I really should get an Opera Blue and Yellow, shouldn't I? I mean, I'm almost there. I think they actually did an Opera Ranger Deluxe Key Pack now that I'm thinking about it. I think those two are candy toys. But yeah, there's the five of them. Two morphers here, two morphers on the side just to space it out. We got the uh, combination here with the Drago Megazord. And then back here, we've got, of course, the complete version of this combination. You can't do if you just buy the American line. So a uh, little Triassic Ranger metal figure. Basically, it's Japanese, Japanese, because I need the Japanese of that for the plate. Japanese here, and then the American ones for the rest of it. So there's that. But that is, uh, that is Dino Thunder slash Abba Ranger. They neatly fit into a small corner. Which is good, because SPD slash Decker Ranger takes up a lot of room. All right, so starting with keys, uh, we got, you know, just the <laughs> basically the reds and the sixth, and uh, all the American keys. A little figure here is from one of those Disney sets. Uh, we've got the Omega Morpher there. Then, of course, the Lightning Collection of the main team. At least we got the main seven, plus a, uh, a little uh, J.J. Oliver SPD green there with the uh, Dragon Shield, just for fun. So we got that. We got my SWAT Megazord. That's kind of a broken mess. We got the Delta Command Megazord. And then, of course, the Delta Max Megazord. So I don't have any Japanese mecha. I do need to get a Blast Buggy at some point, just to kind of round out the Decker Ranger. Um, back there is my SPD Patrol Morpher. I need to get my uh, Decker Ranger SP license up here. Haven't done that quite yet. So Maji Ranger slash Mystic Force. Uh, here's all the keys. I'm actually impressed. We got Udana and uh, the Wolf, Wolf Warrior keys pretty happy about that because uh, they didn't really do too many extra rangers, but they did it for Power Rangers. They got us most of the rangers. Um, not too many on the Maji Ranger side. Here's the uh, different Maji phones. So we've got Grip Phone for uh, Solaris. We've got the Maji Phone, the Uza Phone. We got the Maji Phone Silver. Uh, we've got, that's the Battleizer version of the Grip Phone. And then that is the Fire version of the Mystic Morpher. This is a Japanese Wolzard. That is the little Jada Nano figure of him. Then up here, it's a Manticore Megazord, a Mystic Titan Megazord, a Phoenix Unizord with the uh, Wolf Warrior version of the minifig, and then the Solar Streak Megazord. So the only Japanese one I have here is this, but then I have all the Japanese changers except for the two that were exclusive to the American line. So that's my Mystic Force. So this shelf is Operation Overdrive slash Bokenger all the way through RPM slash Go Onger. So with Bokenger, I actually have all the keys because there was a deluxe key pack. We have Siren Builder, we have Ultimate Daiboken, we have the Sentinel Knight, we have the Battlefleet Megazord. 
if that is the way to understand how I have Japanese versus English versions. Two Morphers are over here on the side. And then for Geki Ranger, this thing's a bit of a mess uh, still. <laughs> it's, this is a hard season to collect. Uh, only got one key uh, of the Japanese. We've got the, uh, the Geki Shark Toja, uh, because that's the Geki Shark Japanese one that I got. I actually did a couple of videos on that in YouTube shorts. Uh, down here is the American Shark Bat and Elephant, um, or there's the bat, and then the shark and the elephant, and the Rin Beast are down there, because I don't have the Japanese ones yet. So I can't quite finish the shelf. That is the side blade, though. I do have that now. It is hanging out back there, uh, blade pointing up so I don't break it. And then, of course, here is the side I.O. I got recently that I did do a video on. I did a video talking about how I got it, but side I.O., you know, Geki Wolf, and, of course, Geki Fire. So it's kind of like that configuration. And then down here, a couple more for things, and then we have that, like, American exclusive Canon one. And then go on just slash RPM just kind of fits itself over here. So I got all the keys in both, which is nice. Looks really, really cool. We, of course, just have Lightning Collection RPM Yellow. There's the change soles. There is the one, two, and three changers, because I got the little uh, holster for that. And then the rocket dagger, because without that, this is not that interesting of a toy. Then here is the RPM Ultra Zord. Still one day, one an engine G12, just to really go for it. Um, and then there is a Go Rotor GT. So there's that. But that is that shelf. So this is the rest of the Lightning Collection. So over here, it's villains, right? We got Draken, we got Zed Rita, monsters, Psycho Rangers, Astronema, A-Squad Rangers, the big old monsters in the back, some Funko Pops of them too. Then, of course, we got the Turtle Rangers. We got the Omega Rangers. We got the Street Fighter Rangers. A couple Sentai figure arts uh, back there and some Tangas and stuff. So it's just the rest of the figures that don't go with the rest of the shells. So this is the Samurai to Mega For to Samurai to Super Mega Force or the Shinkenger through Gokaiger shelf. Uh, got a lot of keys here. This is actually, I think, one of the most consistent sets. So here's the Shinkenger keys to the Gosager keys to the Gokaiger keys. Like I actually got everything uh, in this era because they just they made key packs. I wish we got more key packs. So of course Shinkenger keys, Samurai keys. Yes, I just put two Shinken uh, put two Samurai Reds because they didn't make one with the skirt, whereas Japan did make the one with the skirt uh, for uh, Lauren slash uh, Kaoru. They did, they did not make the skirt one for America. Um, but here's my Shinkenger figure arts. Yeah, it's like all the forms of red and then gold. And there's the little light zord. We got the, those little symbols are the Japanese Shinkeno, but then of course I had the American Samurai Ha'o, uh, which was the Samurai Ultra Zord. And then there's the Mega Blade hanging on the side. And then for this, which I try to keep them separate, but they kind of blend into each other. Of course, we got the Megaforce slash Gosager keys. Uh, these are all the extra heads uh, that don't have anywhere else to go. Um, there is the Leon Cellular and the Ten Soder, the Gosei Knight figure art. And then we've got the um, Gosei Ultimate and the Ground Gosei Great Megazord, um, which is the American ones, and the American Gosei Jet. So there's all that in the middle. And then over here for Gokaiger slash Super Mega Force, we have, of course, all the Gokaiger keys that are what I consider unique forms. So I don't put Go On Wings with the Go Onchers because that's a Gokai Silver exclusive form. And then, of course, the, uh, the American keys that they did make. We got the Gokaiger figure arts with their cockpit things. Still annoyed they didn't do a cockpit thing for Silver, but still one of the coolest things. I wish we got more of those cockpit pieces uh, as an option. Uh, there's the Memorial Edition Mobirates. We've got the Japanese. Uh, Ken, Kenzan Gokai? I don't remember actually what the name of that form is. Um, but I have all the Japanese mecha. That's the Japanese Gokai Cellular. So Maji Dragon, all them there. That's a little preschool figure of the Super Mega Force Red Line Wild Zord. So there you go. So that is the uh, nice display there. So this is where things change drastically in the way I've done my system. I used to keep it in Power Rangers order and then just have the Sentai only stuff on the side. I've started putting it in Sentai order. So next we have Go Buster slash Beast Morphers then Dino Charge slash Kara Uger, then Toke Uger. Because it seems like with Power Rangers, it's come to its end for now. And if it does come back, it doesn't seem like they're going to be continuing to adapt. So I'm going to keep things in Sentai order just to make it a little bit more consistent uh, and, and more adaptable. So let's start with uh, the Go Busters. Um, their mecha is so fragile, but I've got all the main mecha from Go Busters. So the three robots there, I'm never going to do the big combo. 
It's too dangerous. We got what we got of the Lightning Collection, so we're still missing a silver. That's the uh, Japanese Morpher, Japanese Morpher, American Exclusive Morpher, Ranger Keys, a mini plot version of the frog, because I don't know if I'm ever going to buy the frog. It's not like I'm ever going to want to combine it with anything. It's kind of a lot of money just to have it sit, and that takes up a lot less room. Uh, then we got, of course, the Kyoryuja Dino Charge, which fitting all this in was tricky. This is like the hardest shelf for me to make. But, of course, we got the main team from Lightning. He, that's the Bandai of America bike, though, that, that Red's on. Uh, we've got... I was going to do uh, Terra Gordon Western, but those three aren't fitting with the arms attached. So they're just like that. Uh, there's the American Tobaspina. That's the Ameri these are the American Zords. All of these are the American ones, except... Um, oh, Bragigas. American Bragigas is back there. The little comm badge thing. This is the full-action Kyoryujin, though. Uh, which is the one I prefer. I like this one the most out of all the ones made. And I have a Deluxe Cure Agent. I have the Dino Charge Megazord, but I like the full action the most at the end of the day. Uh, there's a couple of the blasters. So we got the Japanese Gabu Revolver and the American uh, Titan, Titan Charge uh, Megazord Morpher. And then down here, under the shelf, we got some, uh, some uh, what are those called? Judenshi. We got some Judenshi. All right, so, oh, and then adding to that, we have the Sword for Gold. We have uh, Mini Tira sitting on top of the box, which is the Kyoryuji, um, Kyori, uh, the, the Jujenshi set. That's what I was trying to go with. Tokyuji, so one of my favorite Sentais, actually. Um, ignore ignore the Ryu Sulkin, it's in the way, but just some figures and vinyls that we got for Tokyuji, because actually we're pumping that year. We've got the Karina Robo. Uh, there is the Safari Gao back there, because I uh, just didn't really have anywhere else to go. And then... I know you can't see it well because my light won't get low enough. Uh, that's Tokyo Rainbow. Can I get my light lower? Let's see. We're going to do this in real time. Hey, look at that. Tokyo Rainbow in the back loaded with all the extra trains that could fit uh, because I wanted Cho Cho Tokyo Dio because if I do Tokyo Rainbow how it's done in the show, I just get a lot of train parts left behind. So there you go. It's still in there. It's still doing its thing. There's the Tokyo Changer. And here is the rest of the Russia. These are the non-combining ones. And then, of course, these are the heads for the Legend Russia, the deluxe, like, mecha heads, and then the Police and Fire. So that just kind of keeps it all together. So now on the side shelf, we have our Ninja Steel display, which is pretty much, majority of it is just mecha, because we don't have many figures from here on out. You can see back here, we've got the, uh, the Change Stars, the actual ones for each Ninja. Uh, we've got all four of the Auxiliaries, plus the big mecha combination. And then back there... Back there is uh, Gekiatsu Dayo, I think is the name. Anyways, he's back there. So then coming to the side, though, is where we use our space wisely. So we've got the sword, the actual, like, um, you know, the change sword. I did attach the Lion Fire Star. There is the battle weapon, which wouldn't be on here normally, but it is a morpher for Power Rangers. There's the burger. There's a stack of stars, like the, the Kaki Ranger stars and such. And then back here, we've got the uh, the non-articulated, the one that turns into the arm, because I do have the artisan version with the full articulation and the die cast in the chair. And then the uh, like the brace for, for this thing is back there as well. And if you're wondering where the uh, American version I used to have, the Lion Fire Fortress, he's over here, just chilling, because I don't know where to put him yet. I had to move him to make room for something else. So now we're up to Jew Oger. Uh, so let's start here. These were minifigures included with the changers, which I thought was such a cool feature. Though I will say that uh, the Geo of the World is the promotional version that's fully painted, and the Gorilla came with a little like mini Gorilla figure. But there's that. I got some vinyl figures for Geo because I love their suit designs. And there is, you know, two changers. So we got that changer, and we got that changer. And then we got all the extra animal weapons that don't combine into the others. So the extra repaint animal weapons, the octopus, the gold bear and the condor, and I couldn't fit Dota, uh, what was it, the Tosai, Wild Tosai Dodakai King or something? I couldn't fit the big combo, so I just settled for Wild Tosai King and then uh, Dodakayo as separate things just to fit them in. And then on the side here uh, is the whale change gun and the flashlight, and then back there is the the triangle with the Genesis lines and all that in the slot. But yeah, there's the, uh, the Juoger shelf. It is only two Sentai at this point because the mecha lines start getting wider and less combiny. 
All right, so Q-Ranger, we got some uh, Udo, because they only made three Q-Ranger Udo. Here's the Power Up uh, Q-Tama, both the uh, bigger, more plasticky ones, and then the regular ones. And then, of course, we've got the Mecha. This is just the best combos to keep them, like, in place. Like, Cerberus just has to hang out back there. Q-Ranger didn't have good Mecha combo stuff. Um, but I did like these little minifigures. So you could get these optional Q-Tama with these minifigures. I thought that was pretty nice. And yeah, overall, I mean, I, I like this mecha line. It's not the most amazing. Um, on the side here, we've got the Ryu Sweater, which was Ryu Commander's Changer. And then we've got Ho-Oh Soldier's Sword and Shield, as well as the Seiza Blaster. Plus, these are some extra special Q-Tama on the side. And then down here along the bottom, we have all of my other Q-Tama, which fit nicely in that little gap. So here we have Lupin Ranger versus Pato Ranger. Uh, this, another season that just doesn't have good combining. Um, I own, how many good strikers do I own? I think I own three. Uh, we've got Pato Kaiser in default form. We got uh, Super Lupin Kaiser back there, which needed another good striker. There's the uh, Lupin X mecha that I think is terrible. Uh, here's Super Pato Kaiser, which is not something they actually did in the show, but just something that everybody that owns the toys did. And then here is uh, the Lupon Rex, uh, which was the repaint of the Good Strikers. So with that in mind, I have technically four Good Strikers, but three Good Strikers and one Victory, uh, not Victory, uh, Jackpot Striker. So there's that. Uh, a couple more vehicles down here, the ones that just didn't have places to go, which was the other two Lupon vehicles. And then we have the Lupon Magnum there, uh, the couple little symbols they put out that actually attached to the changer. And then the Udo uh, for Lupat. I really like this season, <laughs> if you couldn't tell. Uh, so there's all the Udo figures there, which is pretty cool. And they've taken down the two Portermen there, which is awesome. And then here is the uh, Memorial Edition versus Changer. So there is that display. It just takes up a ton of room uh, when it really doesn't need to because nothing combined really well. And I'm certainly ain't putting together a good, cool Kaiser VSX. I think it's a mess. All right, here's the Ryu Soldier slash Dino Fury section. We've, of course, got the actual uh, the Ryu Souls down here. These are all the main ones for the main characters that aren't being used in Mecha. we got Spino Thunder, Kishi Ryu, oh, Five Knights. I combined the, um, I don't know, the, the Pack of Zord with the, uh, the Blizzard back there. I'm making words up at this point. The movie Mecha as well. And then, of course, the three Lightning Collection figures we got. And then up above, we have the Ryu Soul Changer and the Cosmic Fury Morpher. And then we got the Guy Soul Ken Deluxe and the uh, whatever the, the claw was. I can't remember. <laughs> the Max Ryu Soul Claw. And then the Memorial Edition Ryu Soul Ken, which is sitting here. I uh, love that thing. It's beautiful. And let's not forget the Mosa Blaster and the sword, which is uh, behind because I don't know where else to put it. And then here we have Kira Major, one of my favorite seasons with one of the most disappointing toy lines, which is why I kind of own everything twice. So... In the back, we got Deluxe Kira Majin, Deluxe Giga Driller, Deluxe uh, King Express, um, who's got his little thing there, Deluxe King Express, Deluxe Smoke Jokey. Then in front, we've got the Mini Pla Kira Majin, the Mini Pla Giga Driller, the Mini Pla um, Grateful Phoenix, who don't have the Deluxe one yet, the Mini Pla Smoke Jokey, and the Mini Pla King Express, and then a figure of Garza. Uh, this is just because I think the mini plaws are much better, but I collect deluxe mecha, so I'm always at two ends of this. I need to do a video about how kind of disappointing the Kira Major stuff was. But we do have the Kira Major Changer, the Shiny Changer, and the Yodon Changer, plus the Kirifu Go Arrow, and my Sentai Gears, because we gotta go to Zenkaiger next. And so this is the shelf of the top, because normally I go in order by Sentai, but I had to go top side with these because they're gigantic. Um, so starting off with Zen Kaiser, we got our Zen Kaiser figure art. We've got our our changer, our our power up. We got Zen Kaijuo. We got the metal append Zen Kaijuo gown. We have the two Kaio. We have the Zen Roku Zen Kaio, and the gear to linger is there because there was nowhere else to put it. Uh, we've got Don Zen Kaio, and of course the gear toe zinger that transitions us into Don Brothers, where we have the we have Black Oni Taijin there. We have the, I can't even remember the name, I'm not going to try, the big old combination of Dononi Taijin with all the other mecha. And then that transitions down here to our Don Blaster, our Don Momotaro figure art, and the Zangla sword itself, which I set up in a way that I could just turn it on. Isn't that cool? 
and then I just got to remember to check the batteries every once in a while. So that's kind of like that, and that's part of the reason why these all had to be up here, because uh, Zenroku Zenkaio and this combo, and especially the next one, don't fit on the lower shelves. Uh, there is the Ryu no Geki, that is the 2017 movie Megazord, because that has nowhere else to go, it's too big. Uh, it's just got to hang out with the big guys up here. And hey, my old nemesis, Lord Zed. So then on this other side, we've got, of course, the Tiger Dora, we've got uh, Kuwagata Oger, and God King Oger, who is this beautiful 20-part mecha combination that's a little unstable, but is uh, obscenely tall. It is still outclassed by the 2017 movie Megazord, but it's still insanely tall. Uh, my Spider Slayer is back there, the Kumano Slayer, and uh, the Ninjark Sword is back there, too. You can see a little tip of it pointing out. But yeah, because of these bigger things we've gotten in the Reiwa era, they had to take the top spot, even though I'd normally have everything chronological. But that's the Sentai and Power Rangers display. So that does it. It concludes my collection tour for 2024. I, that's all the displays I have up. And I know it's a lot, and it's kind of overwhelming, too, at the same time. But I want to show you guys what's the current state of my collection, what does it look like, where is the stuff at, where I film and everything, and yeah, I did spend a long time on the Sentai and Power Rangers stuff, because it's kind of my proudest collection, honestly. I really love the way it all looks, especially the way it's displayed right now. I'm pretty happy with it. It's a little cluttered in some spaces, but for the most part, I'm pretty happy with it. So that does it for this. If you haven't already, please hit the like button, please hit the subscribe and notification bell for future videos, because there's all kinds of stuff involving these toys coming up. Check out other videos in the meantime if you haven't. Uh, also check out our live streams Mondays at 5 p.m. Eastern, our Discord in the link below, and you can check out channel memberships and join, and you can get access to member-exclusive live streams or early access and other perks. Hit the join button down below for more details. Let's give a special shout-out to our channel members. Special shout-out to all our channel members, including our Captain Tier, Infinity Wartorn, Spin-54, Super Shadix Boom, Toma K, Jamie's World, MJ Klein, The Photo Viper, Brenton Yadin, SSJ4 Jason, Oma Ender, Shinlong Zhanshi, Psycho O's, Jagger N Zero, Canadian Survivalist, Doge9789, Smith the Crow, Masterbin95, Infinite1985, Jeremy Carr, and Sentai Ranger Donnie. You can also find my Oscar Graphic Designer on social media and Discord, DarkClaw643, and you can find HeroClub at HeroClub.com for news and more. And until next time, this is Sanat Sag. Goodbye.